Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of M. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're just to join me today as we go into yet another location. I actually didn't check on the map and see where we are. This is Phoenicia's home, so it's not a place for us to... Oh, looks nice. We got a tub? Hmm. Let's check out what we have here. We got nobody that's more important here because we are going to be able to uh, steal everything. Hmm. Okay, apparently we don't have any traps, which is also a, a good start. Let's see what we can get. Probably nothing. Probably nothing. This location is likely just, you know... Oh, I do found a night. I did find a, a, an identify scroll, and that's good, because I'm going to put it over there. Also, we need to sleep. Do I have my... Um, did I sleep before, or did I not? Nah, I don't think I did. We're going to need to do that pretty soon, because I need my familiar. But for right now, it seems that we have reached... A little bit of a dead end. Let's check out whatever's up there. Nope. Is that... <clears throat> oh, it is. It is through there. Then he must go. Nothing. Okay. I was expecting that. Let's continue. Oh, boy. I, I apologize for that little pause right there. That was me clearing my throat and muting the microphone as well. Uh, because I had a, th a frog in my throat right off the start of the episode, hmm? Right off the start. Okay, so let's go in here and let's see what this is. This- oh, it's not marked. It's not marked! It does seem to be like a gambling den, maybe? I don't see anybody around here, though. So let's- well, let's get whatever we are owed, because we are the heroes of the- and Emoen was taken as well. That's- that- that- I think that, uh, deserve- that we deserve to be paid, because- our party of five is now a party of four, and that's not not a good thing. I, mm, it's not good. Uh, so let's leave it over there, and let, oh, actually, did I leave it up? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's continue, and let's get out of here, because I really, re oh, oh, come on. I really want to leave, but how can I leave if I, I need to go over there. I'm going to need to leave, leave through here. There's, I think there's an exit through here as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I think there is one as well. Let's go in here and see what this is all about. There's nobody in here, so let's just um, get what is ours again. We have a book of history of Amna. Let's read that and uh, get to know the place that we're in right now. Amna has the good fortune to uh, uh, has the good fortune to have abundant natural resources. Some would say Amna is the richest land of, on the continent. This has worked in Amna's favor for generations because even if they were conquered, the new masters would be gentle, looking to gain wealth from the land rather than put it to the torch. Amna has been a center of trade and commerce for as long as anyone can remember. Oral traditions handed down from father to son tend to support the theory that Amna has been a trade center for at least 800 years. Unfortunately, written records are difficult to find and often incomplete. It would seem the typical Amnian citizen was too busy trying to fill their coffers to write down events of the day. Uh, well... Maybe. Uh, Amna has um, al always been more interested in the present and the future than the past, and this makes an accurate history difficult. The best records to uh, business, uh, the business papers of the oldest trading companies are jealousy guarded, jealously guarded. The fear of revealing trade secrets is stronger than the call of history, so the average citizen knows very little about Amna's past. It appears that the Amna of a hundred years ago was very much like the Kalim Shan of today. Each major city was basically an independent entity, banding together for defense when necessary and fighting for control of territory and profitable trade routes the rest of the time. A particularly brutal trade war began 24 years ago, which, uh, with each city exacting prohibited tariffs on goods imported from the others. The trade war escalated, the city troops began to raid caravans sponsored by other cities. In a matter of months, commerce was brought to a halt, a number of cities were under siege, and war threatened to engulf the entire region. Into uh, the breach stepped a young merchant named Thais Selemkant. Thais was uh, smart, charismatic, and very well connected. The Selemkant trading house was one of the oldest and richest in Athkatla. He secretly contacted um, representatives of the five other richest merchant houses in Amn and started to plan. The first part of the plan involved the careful sprinkling of rumors about outside threats. One involved a pirate invasion from the Nelanther. Another was about a massing of orcs just on the other side of the Cloud Peaks, uh, which I believe are to the north. And that's where, um, I believe that's, that's where Baldur's Gate is. Thais even uh, started a rumor about an elf army in the forest of Tethyr, ready to pounce on a divided Amn. None of the rumors were true, but they began to turn people's thoughts towards unity, not war. Thais knew that if he and the other members of his council were to take control of Amn, they would need broad-based popular support. 
um, tensions between cities and merchants' houses were still high, so to get that support, Salem Kant and the others agreed to drop their family names and never use them again. Hmm. When, oh, well, that's, that's actually pretty interesting. When news of the Council of Six spread throughout the land, many people accepted their rule, a group that would unite Amn under one rule, governing uh, for the benefit of all instead of one city or trading company over another, was indeed a welcome change. The Council raised an army at great personal expense to quell the few pockets of resistance that remained and have been in total control of Amn for the past 22 years. That was a pretty good read. I like that. I like. I, I particularly liked how they used um, basically weaponized information or misinformation rather uh, to uh, unite the people around here. Let me take that because those are pretty expensive, and I'll take it. Uh, we got the history of the Western Hearth Heartland. I don't. I wonder where that is. I'm not gonna read it. Uh, is a history of endless battles, fallen kingdom, kingdom of man, and Netheril. Uh, the cities of Western Heartlands. Okay, so apparently it seems like it's some sort of. Uh, some sort of country or something. It might be, or like a region. Eh, let's get out of here. We are not doing anything here. This was unmarked, so we need to go this way. We're gonna talk to the squirrel and the moose over there, and of course, Bullwinkle or something? They have a name. And we got a leopard over there, and a chicken roaming around. We got a storekeep around here, and Kataris is that guy's name. Let's have a chat with the storekeeper. You'll find no better prices in Arm. I guarantee it. Ah, oh, Mahir thinks you were just the sort of customer he was waiting for. Perhaps you are interested in weaponry? Mahir thinks you are. I take it that you are Mahir? Indeed I am. Mahir in Qatar El Sadith, most recently of Rashaman, at your service. Oh, you are coming from Rashaman? I remember it fondly and hope to take Boo to see it once I have completed my Dahema. Well, you failed your Dahema, so, hmm. Ah, Boo is your witch then, I take it. No, Boo is my hamster, and Boo is my friend. Oh, I see, I, uh, where was I? Ah, yes, my lord, you are, um, still interested in examining my wares, yes? Yes, show me what you have. Most excellent, examine my wares to your heart's content, Kasadi, and I'm sure you will find nothing to displease you. Well, let's figure that out. Uh, so I'm gonna need to sell that, mm-hmm, that's, that's done, and, uh, I don't know actually how much I sold that for, but... That's good money, I got a sling plus one, uh, two slings plus one, that's, uh, so she needs one, I need one as well, let's do that. Um, and uh, let's see if he sells any containers, probably not. Oh man, the hiccups, the hiccups right now. Okay, so I get that one, that goes to the ground, because those don't sell for anything. And you carry that around, you're actually going to be melee, you are not, okay, we're good. And I could buy some bullets as well, I think that might be a good idea. Uh, let's see, he does sell bullets, right? What is this? Po oh, poison throwing daggers, that's pretty cool. Um, I should buy bullets. He sells those, that's good. Let's buy 14. Should be okay. Yep, more than okay. That's actually too many. Uh, that's way too many, actually. I don't need... Yeah. I don't need nearly as many as these. That's a shame. <laughs> I bought too many. Oh boy, that's all good. Don't worry, don't worry. Jahir is gonna carry the remainder. And we're gonna use them... Profusely, profusely, because she's actually pretty decent at them, at slinging, I guess. Uh, and uh, we're gonna see how things go after that. Mm, a lot of ammo right there. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to buy that many. Uh, Murten, Murten, whatever his name is. Is this the way you talk to everyone, or is it just the poor people? You have you ever cheated here? I bet you have. Me? I asks Yoshimo. Actually, I can't even remember the last time someone cheated me out of anything. Hmm. I wonder who this guy is the then. You talk to everyone, or is it just the poor people? We got a Amnian bodyguard over there. I wonder if I can steal from here. I can. Hey, sir. In what's up? In the name up? of the council, I am here to keep order. Yes. Uh, what my about time you? Time is quick, so be brief, commoner. Ah, uh, good business to you, my lord. My name is Kataris. Uh, might you be interested in some artwork, a painting to add style to your abode? Well, I don't think so, Kataris. Nothing here really suits my taste. Well, I'm afraid that I am only a purveyor of fine works of art. If you are not a customer of refinement and wealth, then you have no interest in being here, I'm sure. Good business to you. Okay, well, he was pretty um, straightforward in his uh, declaration about my in interests and all that. Mm, I d actually, I don't know how bad that would be or would look, but... Well, we're out of here because we need to go... What is that? Hmm. I don't know what that is. Looks like a dragon still or something. It might very well be, but... It is! It is! Look at that! It's a dragon's tail, or worm, or whatever. I 
don't know what that's supposed to be. I think it's decoration. So we're gonna leave the um, Joaquin or Joaquins. I say Joaquins, but it's like Joaquin. It's not. It's Hawkins or Joaquin. What? What's the name of this place? Tell me. Tell me what the name of this place is. Hawkins, not Joaquins. Hawkins Promenade. Yeah, we're gonna leave, and um, we're not gonna go north, even though we probably actually we should, because I don't want to miss whatever we are gonna find so let's go up here and let's find whatever we are gonna find because I remember there being something important up here and I must not miss it uh, I actually never played the game where I didn't fully explore the promenade the first time around so I hope the game is not gonna cheat me out of content here because it's quite important that uh, things work out in our favor here because I want to get as many guys into my party as soon as possible so we can do our things properly. Although I might be mistaken, of course, and m maybe there's nothing here. We got a store keep. Let's have a chat with the guy. You'll find no better prices in arm. I guarantee it. Uh, so let's see what you have, fair sir. Fair sir. Okay, whatever. Uh, he doesn't really have anything. He's got a couple of potions of heroism and strength. But yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I don't. Mm hmm. Just a little nice. What a feature right there. Nothing here. Okay, well, it looks like there's nothing going on in here. I actually might be confusing this exit to another one. But we're going to leave Hawking. Wawking. Wa yeah, that's right. Wawking. It's not Wawking. Hawkins. Yeah, Wawking's promenade. Uh, and we're going to go to the slums. That's actually the only place where we can go. The game is directly pointing us there. Hmm. Actually, we could go to the Witcher's, no Witcher's, Watcher's Keep, Destination Unreachable, though. Eh, let's go over there and see what we can find. Ooh, you'd be the one I'd be looking for, if I'm not be mistaken. Marcus, be your name, eh? Well, uh, yes, I am he. What is it you want? It's not what I want, but what I can be doing for you. You might be wanting information about a young glass arrested by the wizards on your arrival here, eh? Well, you're talking about Emoen? What do you know of her? Nah. Emoin, hey, that be her name. Young lass made the misfortune of casting a spell or two in a city that frowns on such business. Bad timing it was. You be thinking you wants to find her then? Of course I want to find her. What do you know? Cool. I knows very little myself. Ah, uh, Lord. I can, however, I I, I don't like it on when they stop halfway through because I need to pick up where they started. Oh, they stopped. Um, I can, however, link you up with a group that knows or can be finding out. But this be not the best place to hold such a dialogue. I be having a place that would suit far better. It be just a short walk from here. Galen Bale is his name. Why don't I take you there right now? Unless you have some reason for not wanting to come along. And how do I know that it isn't some kind of trap? <laughs> I have no interest in setting up a trap. Well, the soundtrack says differently right now. Uh, it'd be more profitable to serve, he says. I will speak no more. Come with me and you can decide whether you to enter my house. Well, I can't decide at all. Coo! It's good to be seeing you once again. Lord, he said. Uh, oh yeah, I know. I I say why he doesn't. I see why he doesn't say my lord because the voice actor would need to say my lord and my lady, depending on whether or not I was. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I see that you were able to keep up with me, all right, huh? I'm afraid. Uh, I was afraid that you lost you uh, there. Huh? Well, I kept just up uh, just fine. Now tell me what what all this is about. Aye, right, I'll be doing that as quick as you blink. I'll tell you straight that I know a powerful group that can be helping you. They can be finding the wizard and the young woman, both they can. A powerful group, huh? But they can be doing far better than the telling, my friend. They can also affect a rescue of your last to boot. They can rescue Imoen? Of course I'm interested. Ah, good. But you should know that it requires my friends to cross the cowled wizards. Not something you would be able... <clears throat> excuse me. Not something you would be able to do on your own. Tss. Well, I see. So what um, might this sort of help cost me? It may seem costly, but I think, hmm, but think of the danger in crossing the the cowled wizards. A fair price, if you think about it. It'd be 20,000 gold pieces for their help. Whoa, really? Is there any, uh, is there no way to lower the cost? None. It'd be 20,000 gold pieces or me friends can I, can I help, can I be helping you. Cannot be helping you. Okay, well, uh, just tell me where Imoen is then and I'll handle the rest of my own. Yeah, you might think this, but I be telling it isn't true. Without my organization, there'd be nothing you could do. 
Choose then, if you were wait wanting their help or nay. Mm, okay, so for, I think we can... It's... Um, I think we can make a decision here. It's basically the the beginning of the game here is uh, it, it separates into two parts. You can either accept this guy's help and they will help you. You don't know what the organization is, or I do, but yeah, uh, you, you don't know who, which who they are, uh, and so you don't know what their methods are and you, whether or not you're going to be helping them and all that sort of stuff. Or you can say no, and then somebody else appears and conveniently lets you into a little secret, but isn't exactly what you would want to deal with, to be honest. You're not you're not really going to... Well, I'm going to let it up to you. If you have played the game, you know exactly, or you might know, what, uh, what that entity is. We're going to find them sooner or later. We're also going to find these guys sooner or later anyway. Uh, this, this, this friends of this Galen dude. Um, but I think I'm going to... Yes, I think Marcus would be interested in, uh, in getting their help uh, because... Yeah, I th I think we can choose not to. I'm pretty sure we can choose. I I was looking at two choices here, but I think we can choose not to. And the game just leads us to a different path, but we get there eventually as well. It's just different. But yeah, very well. I do want their help in rescuing Emo, and then he has twenty thousand gold pieces as payment for it. Then, mm. let's see. I think this is the place where we can deny their help. Or maybe I'm just misremembering stuff. Let's see. Uh, I don't have that much. How am I supposed to raise such a fear? I am sure you have spent as much in the past and will again. Surely there'll be work in the city for you. Or perhaps uh, some of your expensive goods to sell? Well, actually, I have a few things that are pretty expensive. A sword, at least. Um, so where can I sell? No, I know where that... Very well, I'll get the money. I I'll wait for it. Uh, Bressel will be waiting for you outside, he's my nephew, and he'll show you to the Copper Coronet. You'll find, you'll find work easily enough there. You will. Uh, there was some fellow named Medine looking for adventurers. Don't know much about him, but he's all the, uh, is at the government district, if you're interested. Yeah, I believe so, I remember that guy. Fare you well, then, and, uh, give me greetings of, uh, Letinan, if you, give me greetings to Letinan, if you happens, uh, if you happen by him. Yep. Latinan, I don't know what that is. Oh, I can do anything. The deal is made, and you have a goal, albeit a distant one. Your new friend has assured you that passage to Imoan can be bought. Though you are certain the final tally will include much more than gold. Any help is welcome, however. And while the cost may be steep, your path is clear. Finding Imuan will lead to Irenicus and to answers long overdue. Irenicus indeed. Okay, so now I know how to pronounce his name. I apologize for not knowing. I don't I just didn't remember. And yeah, not as good as Baldur's Gate 1 there. If you watch my last play, you know what I'm talking about. So I got two balls and three guys. I suppose these are the called wizards. These are the prisoners from the disturbance at Joaquin's promenade. What is known? Not but their names. The mage is John Irenicus. The girl is Emoen. I didn't do anything. He did it all. I had... Silence, child. Allow the fool to make his judgment. Why was this man not gagged? Did he not slay four of you? We dared not approach. Uh, regardless, in the end, he came willingly. What should be done with them, sir? They are deviants. Let them rot in spellhold. Well, that's a summary execution. Except you take time to die, or whatever. He said Joaquin, though. He didn't say Joaquin, or whatever. Huh. Uh, in the Athcatlas slums, I met Galen Bale, who seemed to know something about Imoen's capture. He has led me to his home and offered me what you just said, uh, but the price is 20,000 gold pieces, a steep cost, but he did mention that it entailed crossing the Cald Wizards. Uh, so I escaped from the bad maze that was at Arnica's hold. Yeah, okay. I don't... I never... I can never find whatever... I I've just I have no idea what those things are. Just I don't know. I, I whatever it doesn't matter. We're good. We're good. Let's um probably I'm not gonna be able to steal from him, am I? Well, I'm probably gonna be able to open that thing. Hopefully, is is yep. Okay, let's save the game. Ooh, take. And we can go upstairs as well. Ooh, take. I think I can sell the throwing axes, and we will. We will. Yes, I will do that as well. Let's get going. Let's go upstairs. This guy doesn't mind about his stuff. And upstairs we have Al Al Arledrian, Arledrian, or whatever. Uh, hmm. 
Let's put that over there. Uh, let's see what she has to say. I, th I think it's a she. Ah, no. I know a discerning eye when I see one. Do you? Do you now? So he might be a traitor. That's good. Let's open this stuff. Oh, I failed. Oh, come on. Don't... Nope. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to open this. I'm pretty bad at these, though. So, yeah. It's kind of... May I be excused for not being able to? Minsk. Trap found. Okay. It's a good thing. F force. Nope, cannot force. Okay, let's disable the traps. Should be okay to disable the traps. At least and get a little bit of experience. Can't open that. Let's see if Minsk you punch, can. I punch. You punch that thing then. Pun punch. Okay, failed to force the lock. Yeah, it's not gonna work. <sighs> oh well, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Let's open these things and see if we can. Nope. We. Oh no. Yeah, because that's locked. Uh, so over here we got a couple of things. We got Aquamarine and History of Amn. Nobody minded us there, which is good. And we got a dart here that goes to be sold. Now let's finally have a chat with the Arl Arladrian. Ah, uh, I know a discerning eye when I see one. I understand I must give you access to my wares. My sources vary, and I will not name them, but I, if you wish to purchase, I am sure we can come to an arrangement. Yep, all right. Oh, an excellent choice, my lady. You'll find that I offer many things not to be found elsewhere in Athkatla. As if they are, you'll not find... Uh, as, and if they are, you'll not find them at a lower price. Well, I will buy into your... Uh, you into your selling strategies and whatever. No, I don't want to sell just one. Actually, don't sell for that l that much. Uh, let's sell these. Yeah, these don't sell for that much. Mm, so sell all of that, and we're good. I'm going to keep the other stuff, because you never know when I'm going to need them. Or I never know when I'm going to need them. Let's see what he sells. Hopefully, a few containers. And I'm actually, actually, I'm hoping to find a bag of holding. Let's dig at the gem box. Ooh! Glasses of identification, these are so nice! I like these so much, but they are pretty expensive. I need to remember to come back here and uh, and get them. They are so nice. Oh no, don't put them don't put that over there. No, I actually do, because I yeah, I'm probably not gonna probably not gonna use them uh, too often. Uh, so let's go downstairs. So this is a nice place for us to get some loot. Uh, not so much to so sell sell some loot and also get that those glasses of identification. Wow, an adventurer. Oh, you be the one I was watching for, ain't I? Well, Uncle Galen told me to give you a bit of help to find some work. Listen up, hey? Uh, you're a wizard or something, right? Well, my boys tell me there's this feller named Medine in the government district. He's working for the called wizards and offering some job. I, I, I could take you to the edge of the slums if he wants to check it out. Well, no. I, I look for this Medine in the... No, no. I prefer to go to the nearest tavern, please. Okay, then. Make sure to stay close, because I don't have time to wait for you. Okay, so we're not going to be able to walk around this for right now, but that's okay. It's actually the entrance of the slums. This is where we entered. Here it be. I'm sure you can find the rest of your way from here, right? Eh? Off we go. So the Copper Coronet is the name of this so, tavern. where to now, fearless leader? Uh, well, perhaps an inn. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it, Jahira? It doesn't. I hope you'll come up with something better than that. It will not... I, I will not be put in a position where survival depends on the toss of a coin. Well, not everyone's coin lands on edge, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, s I'm sorry, Marcus. I I do not wish to cause undue strain in our party. I'm merely a bit stressed, and no doubt you are as well. Uh, mm, I don't know. We I don't remember which one I should answer here. Uh, I don't remember. This is important. This is actually important. This is the first dialogue. Oh, the soundtrack. This is Jahira's soundtrack. I think. It's pretty awesome. Uh, let me check. Let me check which one is the, is the one I should do. It's the second option. Yeah, perhaps. But I will try to be pleasant, if you will, Jahira. Agreed. Though we have all suffered much and the mood may change. I'll try to be civil by your side. Yeah, uh, this, um, so yeah, I... I expressed my intention of what I want to do with this Let's Play uh, when I... First, when I played Baldur's Gate. So if you're following me from there, you know exactly what's going on. And if you know the game, you know exactly what's going on. But this is the first real dialogue that we have with Jahira. She, she is feeling a little bit on edge, and I just, uh, I, I just answered that. That's actually the by luck. That's the first thing I answered ever when I played this game. Uh, and uh, I didn't stick with it all the while, but I now know how to, uh, how to answer the correct thing. So if you're doing the same thing I am doing right now, uh, you'll answer perhaps an in, and then. 
Perhaps, but I will try to be pleasant. Now, with a hero, what you want to tell her, basically, is... Uh, is you want her to be, you know, she's ba she's a balanced kind of girl. She's she wants like a balance between good and evil, lawful and chaotic. So you're I actually wanna gonna walk a fine line between all the things, and it's really really tricky. You know it. To, you need to know what to do and what to say, because otherwise things will not go as planned. And even even if you know everything, things might not go as planned, and I might need to use a, a little software to fix my save because the game does have bugs, or at least it used to have. I'm not sure if it still has. In the enhanced edition, but we'll find out. Uh, so got some ruffians over here with a guy named Amalus. We're not gonna talk to him right now. I remember he. I remember him. I can break an arm or a leg for a copper or two. He says, "Well, you're pretty cheap," and that's not who I want to talk to either. That's Anoman. Anoman is one of our companions. Strangers, perhaps you have more courage than the worms that frequent this pit of corruption. I am Anoman, warrior priest of Helm. What is your name? I am Minsk. It is a pleasure to meet you. Well met, he says. Speak then. Is your heart filled with courage or be it steeped in cowardice? Well, truly, sir, I... Let's see. Uh... Yeah, let's see. When there is cause for courage, says Minsk, I have it in abundance. I trust that your accounting is true. Tell me then, Minsk, be, your, uh, be you a force for evil or good? Oh, I am a force of righteousness. It's actually good that it was Minsk talking to him because this is a little bit more in character as well because I'm not a force for righteousness and I'm kind of a coward as well. <laughs> well, eh, I'm kind of walk the fine line there, but eh, I think, yeah, Marcus is a little bit of a coward. It, it's not that he's a coward, it's just that he's underhanded and he knows, he, 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 well, you know, you know Marcus well enough. Um, Perchance, says Amo, Amo, Anoman, I have found worthy companions. I seek to be knighted in the most noble order of the Radiant Heart, and I must prove my worth first. Have you need of a strong warrior, my lord? Well, regretfully, I must decline. Uh, uh, but, but you will come. Yes, come with me for right now, because I want your items. That's a good thing. Uh, I would be definitely pleased to have you join me. Welcome. Excellent. Adventure and honor, honor await us both, says Anoman. Um, I should tell you first, though, uh, that I seek to rescue an old friend who is being held hostage by the cowled wizards. There may be significant risk. Truly, it sounds like a worthy cause to pursue. But who is this friend that you speak of? Well, that's an old friend, Imoen. Uh, well, Marcus and her, they grew up together at Candlekeep, and, uh, well, I'm not about... We're not about to abandon her to these wizards. Ah, the rescue of a childhood companion. Come then, my new friend. Let us strive to find this emo end of yours and challenge all the dangers that bar our way. We're not going to keep him. Uh, he's actually, uh, if I remember correctly, he's just a fighter. He's dual classing, actually. He's a cleric and a fighter. So he's like Jahira, but he's uh, a lawful neutral guy. Uh, so he's a little bit different. He's not he's not an arper or anything, but I'm going to take... Let's see, is this only used... Oh, it's only usable by him. The helmet, I'm going to take, and, and I just want this because, sure, why not? Uh, and, well, it's not going to stay with us for too long because we're going to get more guys, and, well, in this particular case, we're going to get another girl. And we need to find her, though. There she is. Is anyone willing to hear my plea? Anyone? You all know me. I've helped some of you. Is this the thanks I get? I've helped lots of your kind. You? Are you for hire? As a mercenary, I mean, you look capable and hearty, like like you have formal training. Yes, I might be able to help you. Calm down and tell me what's wrong. Yeah, I need a strong hand to help me. My land is under siege and none of this rabble will aid me. And after all, I've done for their kind too. Please, can you assist me? Th this, this rabble, their kind? What do you mean by this? Well... Nothing really. Some people are just more privileged than others. It is not my fault, but I do, I do my part to help those beneath me. You, you think they would be grateful? Well, you, it sounds like you think your wealth makes you a better person than others. No, it's not like that at all. I just, I do what I can, and I try to be a good person. Those foppish snobs that hold themselves above everyone else make me ill. They have no respect for the hard life that poor classes endure. I help when I can, but I can I won't be able to uh, to do in the future if my lands are sacked. Please, will you help me? Sure. Yeah. Perhaps I can. I will need to know my enemy, however. No, oh, there's no time. I only hope that the attackers have not made it inside. If they have, if they have breached the inner courtyard, they will be hard to rout. I will tell you what secrets I can. Perhaps you will be able to sneak in and attack from a more vulnerable spot. I hope father is all right. He he would not leave. 
Should I travel with you? I've spent a few weeks slumming and I'm quite capable of opening the odd lock. I can pick three just to get out of my of, of the main keep. I had to pick three just to get out of the main keep, she says. Auntie doesn't like me leaving at night, but how else can I donate to the poor and not be, new, uh, the poor and not be noticed? They have pride too and I really shouldn't be seen with them. Oh, the poor or... Oh, okay. Yeah, you can travel in the party with me. I'm sure you will be useful. Um, let's see. Yes, yes. Wonderful! Do you help uh, Do you help people often? I have often wanted to get away from the keep and auntie's rules. She doesn't understand that I just want to help people. A uh, commendable spirit, says Anaman, to help others. Although with maturity, girl, you will come to realize that not all are worthy of such attention. Helping others is good, says Minsk. What a nice little girl you are. Would you like to see my boo? I think he approves of you too. You speak as if unaware of class distinction, says Jahira, and yet your manners exudes it. A sign of immaturity. Perhaps adventuring is not the place for you. Here, I'll my uh, says Nalia. I'll mark the location on your map. We should head there immediately. Be careful not to be spotted. I hope everything is all right. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see. Can I tell her about the called wizards? Yes, I'll do as I've agreed, but you should know that my ultimate goal is to rescue an old friend of mine above and beyond anything else. An old friend? Who's that? Uh, well, her name is Imoen, and she's been taken prisoner by the called wizards, and, well, I'm, a, I'm not about to leave her to their mercy. Oh, if she needs help, then of course I'm willing to help you find her. If you want me to, of course, but we have to take care of my family situation first, that's all I ask. And there we go. And she's casting spells already because she has a nasty, 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 nasty script right there enabled. She is a mage, yes. She is actually my substitute. I, I never played with her before, so this is gonna be uh, a first time for me. Uh, in, in her quest. I don't think I've ever done her quest. But she's a substitute for Imoen. Um, she is a dual class mage and thief, although she's quite worse than Imoen uh, at thieving. She's pretty good at traps, though. Uh, but we're just gonna go with the, with the mage. She's actually... yeah, so she's... What's her open locks? Pretty bad, actually. Yeah, well, she is a mage. That's all I'm gonna go with for right now. Uh, and I hope that she will be nice. She's actually nice because she has a lot of dexterity. She's pretty good at, at uh, armor class and that sort of stuff. So let's leave this place and uh, not mess with them. And Anoman is going to leave our party pretty soon because we are going to get our last companion. That's not him. We got a cat over here. Oh, he meowed, but he didn't. we couldn't listen. We couldn't, couldn't hear him. These are the slums. We're going to come back here later but for right now I'm Colonel RPG and this has been Baldur's Gate I really hope you've enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and leave a comment like the video but above all thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next episode bye bye